Good morning, guys. And uh, this morning, I would like to submit to you evidence from the Bible that the mark of the beast is an injection. It's a jab. And it's something that's done with sharp pointed needles. And that doesn't matter if we're talking about a, you know, a syringe and a needle or a quantum dot tattoo. The point is sharp pointed needles. And I'm going to show you this from the Bible and let uh, let the biblical um, text speak for itself. So, guys, um, first of all, the word mark is mark of the beast is used seven times in the book of Revelation. And um, I'm going to read for you right now um, Revelation 13, 16, where it's used a couple times in this passage. It says, And the second beast required all people, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead, so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark, the name of the beast or the number of his name. So a couple things to unpack here, guys. First of all, as you know, or maybe you've heard me say before, that it talks about a mark on the right hand. Well, the right is symbolic, and it, it, it signifies something that's done with deliberation and carried out in your own personal actions. It's, the right hand is used metaphorically numerous times in Scripture, and as is the right eye, where Jesus said, for instance, if your right eye offends you, then pluck it out, but, what, but not the left eye. I mean, so it's, when you see that, that's, that's um, metaphorical language, the right hand. Now, the word hand, if we go to the Aramaic, which was John's mother tongue, Hand is the arm. The whole, they don't separate it. The whole, everything from your fingers up to your shoulder is considered your hand in Aramaic. So um, this is, again, what I'm submitting to you is evidence. I'm not submitting proof, and there's a difference. Proof is conclusive. Evidence substantiates facts that you can use to prove things. So th the last video was uh, proof that the vaccinated are emitting MAC addresses. This video is about evidence, and I'm going to do some of these videos giving to you evidence for the things that I've been stating in previous videos. So the mark of the beast is delivered with a, a needle. Now, okay, um, so that nobody could buy or sell unless he had the mark. Now, so we're, God is warning us, and that's why I'm making this video about an economic system that is coming that is tied to your status of being beast marked or injected. Now, um, let me go to the definition of the word. So... Um, this is a concordance. This is an exhaustive concordance. Every single word in the Bible is referenced here, and the definitions for the words that are used are given in either Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek. So I'm going to go to the definition. I'm going to show this to you guys, um, that the word for mark is associated with sharp-pointed needles. Um, because people are thinking, well, but first they thought it was going to be a barcode, then they thought it was going to be a RFID chip. I don't know what people are thinking now, but, but here's what it says. So I'm going to hold this up. There are three words that are associated with the word that's used for mark of the beast. And the primary word is word number 5,480 in the uh, Strong's Concordance, and it is the word uh, charagma. Okay, now, so I'm going to hold this up, and you can find this online. I just use the old school here. Look at this now, and see these words, okay? And notice the things that I've highlighted in yellow. They're all, all these words, all three of these words are associated with sharp pointed needles. And we're talking about marking the human body. The mark of the beast is something that they call a vaccine, and it's not. Um, so, charagma, okay, to sharpen to engrave, okay? So already you see that we're talking about marking the, bo the human body. So something, this is done with a sharp instrument. And it's also associated with the next word, charakter, um, which is a tool for engraving, which is also something sharp. You engrave with something that's sharp. But again, we're talking about marking the human body. And so John is just describing what he's seeing here, guys, how the human bodies of people are being marked with something sharp. And, um, okay, and then uh, also the last uh, um, word here that's associated with the mark of the beast, charach, um, a pointed stake. You see how every one of these words that's associated with the mark of the beast is associated with something sharp and pointed. So whether it's a syringe and a needle or 
uh, quantum dot patch with micro needles. There it is, guys. There it is. And um, and you should have been already able to see that your vaccination status will be tied to your ability to buy and sell, to engage in the economy, to participate in the economy. It should be very clear to people that are paying attention, and especially people have their eyes open and their ears open, that this has already been introduced, as I stated you know, a long time ago, with the first horseman of the apocalypse, um, the rider on a white horse with a crown, that's a corona, and a bow, the Greek word is toxon, it's a toxic corona weapon that went out conquering and to conquer the whole earth. So, guys, I'm going to keep this video short um, to make this point um, that the mark of the beast is delivered with a needle. And um, as you read further on, you'll find that the penalty. Actually, let me read this this verse right here, that there is a um, there's a penalty for receiving this mark and participating in this economic system. And we see this in Revelation 14, verse 9. If anyone worships the beast and its image, a couple things to unpack there. First of all, worship, the Greek word is proskuneo, and all it means is to go along with, to bow down, to comply with, to submit to. It doesn't speak necessarily of a whole one world religion. That's not in there. It is something that people insert. It says proskuneo, just they bow down to it. They go along with it. Um, and the beast and its image. Notice how it doesn't say his image. So, and that's the, the, the correct uh, translation of the Greek because the word for beast is a neuter noun. It's not a masculine or a feminine noun, it's neuter. So, um, I know people expect that they transliterate that to mean the Antichrist, but the word Antichrist is also not used even one time in the entire book of Revelation. So, be careful about inserting constructs that you think should be in there and uh but they're not and um, maybe they're true maybe they're not but it's a it's a construct it's a fabrication so um the beast and its image and receives its mark on his forehead or in his hand he too will drink of the wine of the of god's anger um poured undiluted into the cup of his wrath and he would be tormented um in fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the lamb and the smoke of their torment rises forever and ever. Day and night, there is no rest for those who worship the beast, who bow down, comp you know, comply with the beast um, and its image, or for anyone who receives the mark of its name. So um, let me also go to Revelation 16 too. Okay, so the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and loathsome and malignant sores broke out, on all those who had taken the jab of the beast, the mark of the beast with a sharp pointed instrument. And now they have loathsome and malignant sores breaking out on their bodies. Guys, this is obviously a side effect, a medical side effect of people who've taken these non-vaccines. And so I submit this to you as evidence that the mark of the beast has already been introduced and get ready for disease X or whatever's coming next and do not comply with it. Don't bow down to it. Don't worship the beast. God bless you guys.